Howdy, hey, hi, hello, what up, and uh, welcome back to Forever Spinning. It is indeed that time of the year again where I sit my white butt down and give you a couple of year-end wrap-up videos to tell you what some of my favorite songs and albums were from the year prior. I'm not the first one to do this, and boy oh boy, I certainly will not be the last. Now, I am once again reminding you that I am not a music critic or a music reviewer. Never have, never will be, unless, of course, I guess you come to my house and dump a boatload of money on my front step. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Yeah, no, I would flip flop like a gymnast if you did that. See, so yeah, not a reviewer, not a critic, none of them things. Not at all, just a music enjoyer who uh, likes to share his opinions on things. Also, it should be noted that this year I'm only talking about my 10 favorite songs of 2022. Life gets hard when you work a customer service job during the holidays, and really this is all that I could cobble together, so I did my best. This is all that we got. Okay, that's it. Let's get started. No more dilly-dallying. I got a couple of honorable mentions that I would like to start off with. Kicking off the honorable mentions, we have Anyone But You by Place to Bury Strangers, FKA Still Chill by Super Destroyer, Baby, I Had an Abortion by Petrol Girls, CEO of My Ass by Dev Lemons, Reese's Cup by Currency and The Alchemist, Snow Globes by Black Country New Road, Somersault by Chastity, Still Life by Carson McCone, John Woo Flick by Conway the Machine featuring Benny the Butcher, and Spoon with the Hardest Cut. Okay, let's get into things, and to start off this short list, we have MS Paint with their brand new single, Acid. I've been real high on this group for a while now, and this single just only amplifies my excitement. This thing is energetic, pounding and driven all the way through. The production, along with the actual songwriting, is excellent. Their discography is pretty small at this point, but I must say this is probably their best cut to date. All I know is I need a new MS Paint project, like now, ASAP, please give it to me, inject it into my veins. I love this group. Acid, great track. Next up, we have Nez with You Wanna. I literally knew nothing about Nez until I played his new EP that came out this year, which of course, You Wanna is the opening track for, and well, I really like his production style. Man, this song is just so freaking fun. I wanna get hammered with my friends while playing drinking games with this song blasting in the background. It instantly turns the vibes from drab to immaculate, even though it is such a simple song. Next time you go out to a party, be sure to play this song as loud as humanly possible and dance like there is no tomorrow because trust me, y you'll get it. You're gonna understand what I'm talking about. This cut just <clears throat> great stuff, great stuff. At number eight, we have Gulch's cover of Monkey Gone to Heaven. Originally a song performed and written by the Pixies, this late hardcore group decided to record their cover before calling it quits. And boy oh boy, thank goodness they decided to cover this song because, well, they killed it. It's immense epic and overwhelming with the vocals just flying in every direction as the instrumental follows in suit. It helps that the original recording is amazing, but with Gulch's characteristics in the studio, they just add their own spins to things and, well, they make this song even better. It makes me even more upset that we never got to see this performed live since Gulch has since broken up and during their last show they were pulled off stage because they were going over time. Such bullshit. Really sucks. Wish we could have seen a live performance of it, but hey, it is what it is. Long live Gulch. Taking the seventh spot is They Hate Change with the track Some Days I Hate My Voice. I've been waiting for this new They Hate Change record for a while now, and I must say it absolutely lived up to the hype. This track in particular utilizes its drums in such an innovative and inventive manner. Not to mention the lyrics are so powerful, talking about mental health and working through the mental deterrence that we all face. Whether you like it or not, They Hate Change is the future of hip hop, so go ahead and uh, jot that down real quick. Next up is Viagra Boys with Return to Monkey. This entire record is fantastic and I could probably easily pick at least two or three other songs to be on this list, but I have this real primal instinct that makes me choose this song. The call and response lyrics must be so badass to see live and well, I'll be doing just that in February. Return to Monkey is a nice neat bow on this concept record and I can confidently say that it is one of my favorite songs of this year. Cracking the top five, we have Take My Breath by The Weeknd. I don't think I need to harp too much on this one, as I assume that you guys have probably heard this song already. It's just a really solid pop track. The synths sound amazing, the hook is infectious, and the overall energy that this song brings is off the charts. The Weeknd never fails to have at least one huge hit off of all of his albums, and for that, he will always have my respect. Snagging my fourth favorite song of the year is Spiritual Level of Gang Ship by Soul Glow. If you have watched this channel for a while, you will know that I have been really huge on these guys since like 2019 
2019. And if you know that already, then you also know how much I love their blending of hip hop and hardcore, which is of course why spiritual level of gang shit is up here because it is the epitome of mixing hardcore and hip hop elements to create a just gorgeous song. Like you could probably go up there and teach a master's course on utilizing this song to understand how to use hardcore and hip hop together. It's just that freaking good. The first half of the song's dedication to hip hop through features with McKinley Dixon and Logie is glorious, but the quick descent into the hardcore madness in the second half is remarkable. It's also probably the best closing track on an album that I've heard in years. I'll be the first to admit, this cut is a bit of an acquired taste, but if you already have a scent for it, then you will stop at nothing to get more. Coming in at number three on my list is Five Seconds Before the Explosion by Your Arms Are My Cocoon. This is a rather rudimentary emo tune with no frills or extra shit. It's straight to the point and that point is utterly gorgeous. I know this song isn't for everyone. I completely understand. I'm even kind of surprised that it made it all the way up to number three on my list, but the emotion and power with inside the song cannot be denied. The second half of the song is simply spectacular with the vocal screams being buried and drowned beneath this repetitive riff. I don't know, man. I just really like the textures of this song and think that it is gosh dang beautiful. At the two spot is Runner by by Alex G. Wow. Just wow. Alex has written his fair share of incredible tracks throughout the years, but I gotta admit, Runner might be my favorite out of all of them. Literally every aspect of this track is fantastic, from Alex's lyrics to the ever-evolving instrumental. Runner is one of those songs that after like a third listen, you are so hooked into everything that this song is about. If you have not heard this song yet, well, just know that I don't like you, your parents are disappointed in you, and you are an affront to God herself. And that will lead us right to my favorite song of 2022. And that song is, without any reasonable doubt, Pressure Cooker by Military Gun and Daisy. When anybody talks about pop punk, this is the exact archetype that I wish people went with. I understand other bands doing different things, don't get me wrong, I'm all about artistic uh, expression and stuff like that, please don't construe my words here, but this is exactly the pop punk that I want. This thing is catchy as hell, it's fun to sing, and it makes you feel good. Also, whenever I hear it, I feel like I should be watching like an early 2000s movie with Frankie Muniz, like running through a Southern California neighborhood being chased by somebody. If you haven't heard this song already, go check it out, and I think you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The Big Fat Liar soundtrack is so good, but only one note, uh, this song should have been written back then and then put on that soundtrack because it works. In reality, this is a really sick simple song, but it's so fucking good and I just cannot get enough of it. Pressure Cooker is absolutely my favorite song of the year. Don't bring anything else up. I don't want to hear it. Case closed. Get out. Everybody go. Disperse. Whatever. That's, that's it. Pressure Cooker, number one. 2022. And that will conclude this video on my favorite songs of 2022. Woo, woo, woo. I really want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Send this out to a friend if they're looking for music recommendations. Maybe they like one of these bands. Maybe you just think I'm a funny looking character and it's easy to make fun of me. Whatever it is, that works. Still getting that view, so uh, <laughs> I win. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Well, every year, I guess, is when I do these types of videos, but I also have videos like So You're Interested In, where I break down an artist's discography and show you really a great spot to start off with when getting into their music. Some of the artists that I mentioned in this very video I've already covered, so you can go ahead and go check it out. They're pretty cool. Maybe uh, maybe you'll find your new favorite band. I don't know. You can also watch Stacks of Wax, a show where I go through my vinyl collection, show you what I got, flex that vinyl muscle, really just admire all that waxy glory. Actually, you know what? Go down to the comments right this very second, and I want you to tell me what your favorite song of 2022 is. Or write a whole fucking list. I don't care. Do what you want. That's it. It's over. Next video will be my 30 favorite albums of 2022. That will be coming out on a Wednesday. And look out because I do have a, uh, a little surprise on Thursday that uh, you might want to tune into. Okay, that's it. We're closing it down. Go support your local record store if you are able to, along with the local artists in your area. And well, until I see you next time, happy listening.